All right, this is looking at our satellite and radar composite, and it actually goes back about two hours. You can see the progression of the rain that's coming off sort, for, sort of from the south, almost like a sea breeze that came up from the south, clustering with some storms that were already developing in the Midlands. The two came together and they almost culminated right over Orangeburg. That's why there was so much heavy rain there over the last few minutes. It is slowly starting to lift out a little bit, but we're still seeing that extremely heavy rain between Columbia and Orangeburg. It's coming down intensely right along I-26 and this is where there is plenty of thunder and lightning in place. That heavy rain is also in place in Swansea, Woodford North, St. Matthews, the Congaree National Park, the area that has already seen some rain. I have those numbers coming up for you here in just a bit. But Hopkins, Horrell Hill along Lower Richland Boulevard and Charter, Charter Road, Atlas Road, Diamore Boulevard, McIntyre Air National Guard all seeing intense heavy rain right now. These are storms that have clustered together and so flooding is certainly possible. Flash flood warnings not out of the question. I wouldn't be surprised if we hear the bell ringing and we get one coming up pretty soon because of how intense this rain is coming down now. Killian Road, heavy rain for you. Pishka Church Road and this is near Dentsville. So between Dentsville, Northeast Columbia, your rain is coming in more of a moderate clip, but it's still coming in. Blythewood Road coming in and then Hayward Brockington Road. Heavy rain there along with Langford Road. And then we slide over towards areas near Lake Murray. This is a cluster of storms that it will be moving right over the heart of the lake here pretty soon. Some of that will be staying just to the south of the lake, which would put it over the town of Lexington. But that compared, that couples with the rain that's over South Congaree right now. Rain chances for the rest of the evening, not going anywhere. It's really at 100%. Of course, in those areas seeing the rain now. Tomorrow, the rain chance at 80% and then 60% for Friday. We'll finally get some move it, movement from the parent system and that will take it out of here a little bit. And once it does, we'll see a decrease in the rain chances for the upcoming weekend. River flooding that I mentioned coming to you from Congaree River at the Congaree National Park. This morning it was at 7.6. Flood stage is at 15 feet, but we're expecting to get to 16.7 feet by Saturday. It's still going to stay very humid even when the rain is not coming down. We're going to be in the very humid category throughout your Thursday. Friday we shift to humid, but we're still staying up there. It's still just going to stay with that same pattern of a lot of moisture, that uncomfortable feeling when you walk outside. It almost feels like the air you can wear. Showers and storms because of the stationary front stay around until Friday. And then we've got a tropical storm to talk about. Tropical storm Brett has winds of 65 miles per hour. Movement is to the west at 15 right now. We will continue to see it keeping that westward movement. And right behind it, another one has developed. This one not having a name just yet, but it is Invest 93L. They're investigating it. It could become Cindy. Eh, maybe, maybe not. We have to see what happens with it over the next coming days. 79 for you in and around the area for tomorrow, and then 86 with scattered storms for your Friday. Saturday and Sunday, hotter but drier. Highs at 88 on Saturday and Sunday at 90. We will be tracking those upper 80s for us on Wednesday and Thursday. Remember, those are days that the rain and storms will return, and it brings back the humidity with it.